Okay guys, so today we're gonna do part two of the Narcusi Corridor and that'll be the St. Cloud section. So stay tuned, I have a great video for you today. Give me that intro. Welcome back to my channel. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And today, as I said before, we're gonna do uh, part two of the Narcusi Corridor, which is when, right now we're on Boggy Creek. And when we make the right, we'll be in St. Cloud section of the Narcusi Corridor. So if you have it before, please press the subscribe and alert buttons down below because it truly does help my channel and it keeps you in touch with all the videos I put out weekly. All right, guys, so let's start our video. All right, guys, so here we are on Boggy Creek Road, and when we make the right here, we're gonna go into St. Cloud, which is our route today. In the previous video, we made a left, and that led us into Lake Nona, near the 417, to the 528, uh, on the, probably the right side of the airport, which is the east side of the airport. So that was that whole video that way, and today we're gonna continue on going this way. So stay tuned. All right, so here we are. We're on our Coosey Road, uh, heading towards St. Cloud. Uh, and we have a couple of older communities down this, on the first, you know, first half a mile. Um, for instance, we have Majestic Oaks on the right, which is all these trees that we see here on the right. Um, and then we'll hit upon Lake AJ, which will be on the, the, uh, on the left side of the road. So those are two of the older communities in the area. So here we got is Waterside Vista, right? And there is Million Dollar Homes. We have Hammock Point. It's an older, an older community. And that's right here on the right as well. So these will all be resa opportunities. Now we're gonna pull off Narcusi real quick because I wanna show you something that is brand new to the area. And this is Sunbridge. So we're gonna make this right on Surlis Road and go down Surlis till we hit the new communities of Sunbridge. Okay. All right, so as we head to Sun, Sunbridge, our first community here is Split Oak Estates. Uh, they're pretty much sold out, but they're one of the newer communities here by Pulte that is in the area. So this is Split Oaks. And then to the right, I mean, I'm sorry, to the left here is all the new development of Sunbridge. They're gonna have a harbor and bay district here, restaurants, shopping, broadwalks. So that is the projected plan. Obviously those things can change in the future, but they are leveling out a lot of this land here by the, uh, by the water, so for future build out. Hey guys, so, as you can see from this tour that we're doing on Arcusi, we came to Split Oaks. Now, Split Oaks has two communities. We have Split Oak Estates and Split Oak Reserve. Reserve is brand new, or it's newer, and they have about 50 lots left. As I said in one of my videos previously, it is really hot out here and it's really difficult. You have to act fast. So they opened up with 100 lots, now they have 50. They're halfway sold. They had bungalows, they're down to four, okay? now. In Split Oak Estates, they got 10 lots left, which is the original Split Oaks community. In those lots, they have 60 foot lots, right? And you can fit homes like the Dockside, which I might have a video here for you. They have pinnacles, which you could put down. And the HOA is 109, no CDD. Has a pool, cabana, and walking trails, and a playground. Beautiful community. Now, on the other community, which is Reserve, Split Oaks Reserve, they have the same amenities, they're gonna have their own pool, they're gonna have their own cabana, walking trails as well, and it's gonna be a little bit off of Serverless Drive, right here on Leon Tyson Road and Miller Street. And they have a little bit more options because they have those 50 lots. HOA is 109 as well, and in those lots you'll have Yorkshires, Whitestones, Towers, 
spruce highgate models and then they have the 85 foot lots which will have a pinnacle and a pinnacle grand which is the pinnacle with the second story so this is what is here right behind uh, Narcusi Road and heading into the sun, towards Sunbridge and the Sunbridge development of this area. All right guys, so right here is a brand new development behind me. It's called Suncrest. Now this is the same Leo Tyson Road that turns into Eagle's Nest at this side. And this is a brand new development by one of the developers out here. It's brand new, not even one house is laid out yet. So keep with me and my channel and I'll give you updates, but this is a brand new development that's happening in this area. Hey guys, so right outside this window, I don't know if you can see, but uh, there, this is Split Oak Forest. So there was a little bit of a controversy, a little, just a little bit about people building through this area. So what the developers, um, I come up with projectively was to build around it. So this is going to be part of the natural conservation areas through um, through Sunbridge and the Sunbridge project, which is pretty awesome. So you always have this kind of scenery in the area. Sunbridge Del Webb. Now, Sunbridge Del Webb is a 55 plus community in the area. And it is a very beautiful, uh, full amenity, um, planned out community. It's very gorgeous, gated guard gate. Uh, it's gonna have spas, uh, beautiful pools, fitness clubs, plenty of plenty of activities for our 55, 55 plus and over crowd. All right guys, so, so this pan right here is the entrance of Del Webb Sunbridge and this is the other side of Cyrilus Road. It's gonna be a main extension of Cyrilus. It's called the Cyrilus Extension and it's gonna move and have traffic move out throughout this parallel to Narcusi Road. So we're gonna, they're gonna extend this road and there's gonna be a plenty of probably more communities and much more in the future so if i can find a map of where the extension will end up i'm gonna put it right here also across the street this development right here it's supposed to be sort of a it's the start of development uh for a restaurant and business district area Right, guys so we are leaving Del Webb Sunbridge right now we're here in the intersection of Cirlis and Abster. Um we're gonna go back on Narcusi and continue our tour from Narcusi but I thought this was such an important you know jump off from the main road that I had to show it to you but this is still in the vicinity of the area of Narcusi it's just half a minute to get here so I wanted to show you that and see what's in development all right, I'll see you back on our Cruci Road. All right, guys, so as we come out of Cyrilus and Narcusi, this is the uh, intersection of Narcusi and Cyrilus, 
uh, we're gonna cross back over so we can make a left on our Kusi and continue our tour. And as I said, uh, directly in front of us is Benton House, and that is the assisted living facility that we were talking about. And as you can see, there's construction going on for that. As we make our turn and continue on. All right. We keep heading south on Narcusi. We're, we're gonna hit a couple of resale communities, some newer than others. Uh, one of the uh, older ones here is Hammock Point right on Deerfield Street, so that's one. Then we have Lakeshore on Narcusi, which is just recently just finished building out. Um, and we have our Pulte products in there. So it's a little bit newer. And as we keep heading south on Narcusi, uh, you can see the uh, school signs as we're coming upon Narcusi Middle School here on the right. So, that is a great school in the area. We have coming up a charter school. I believe it's elementary charter. Uh, it's uh, Bright Scholars. And we have Marina Estates here. It's a little bit older. Lots of land still for sale and available here on Narcusi Road. And as we reach Tompkins Road, we reach Lake Point, which is a beautiful lakeside community. It's gated. We're gonna pass Dan Smith. And we have some houses set up on the side here. These are all houses that have been sold. Uh, I believe these houses here are set back on, Narcu on the, you see the back of them on Narcusi, uh, were by Hanover Builders. And uh, lots of big houses on this road. I have a friend who lives in this uh, HOA development. And also on the right, we have East Lake Cove. And as we make our way forward, we're gonna to come to one of the uh, roads that we're gonna make a turn into off of Narcusi, because I wanna show you the developments in that area, and that'll be Jack Brack Road. So here we are, we're gonna start making our turns. Yeah. On the right of Jack Brack, we have Lake Park. And there's another community back that way. So, but we're gonna make this uh, turn on Jack Brack so I can show you the new construction developments that are coming up. All right. So we're turning right here on Narcusi and Jack Brack. We're turning on Jack Brack. And as we move through, on the left, you see a lot of uh, older homes separate from HOAs. And then we have Narcusi Village. As we proceed down Jack Brack, you can see there's uh, still some land available. Uh, we have on the left Nova Grove which is a resale community here and then on the right if you see all the way back those high rooftops that's A.R. Bailey townhomes Narcusi del Sol is another resale community we have Century Homes right here on Benvenuto and Jack Brack, which is Sunset Grove. 
So we have Century Homes and MI Homes used to build in there, but they're now sold out. As we come back towards the end of Jack Black, we're gonna make a quick turn on this road. We're gonna follow the bend of the road and we will come upon another brand new community that is set back this way. Look at the cows. <laughs> Lots of cows. All right. Um, and one of the last communities on this stretch of Jack Brack is Wiregrass. You've seen a couple videos that I've done here. And this is the Wiregrass community. I'm gonna put a link on the top here for some of the homes that are sold in this Wiregrass community. We got Avix, uh, home builders here. We have Dream Finders and Hanover family builders here. So this is Wiregrass. So now I will meet you on the intersection of Jack Brack and Narcusi Road to continue the tour. John. All right, so we just made a turn from Jack Brack back on Narcusi Road, heading south, um, deeper into St. Cloud. Right about now, we are about a good 10 minutes from Lake Nona. Uh, so as we've been talking since the beginning of this video, we've been going away from Lake Nona uh, into St. Cloud. But this gives you a reference, if you bought a new home, how close you would still be from Lake Nona. So. Over here to our right, I mean, I'm sorry, to our left, over here to our left, we have brand new shops, doctor's office, pizzeria, um, physician's office, dental. Uh, also, we have the firehouse here. And right away, we come up to Jones Road, which is another section of road off of Narcusi where there's new developments happening. happening and I'm gonna show you that right now. So we're just waiting at the light at Jones Road and Narcusi. And we're gonna make this turn here. We have a old mom and pop market here called Paps. It's been here for a long, long time. Um, the high roofs that I was talking about earlier that you can see from uh, Jack Brack, well, you can see now here on Jones, and these are the A.R. Bailey homes. Uh, townhomes here. So guys, as you can see, the uh, Jones Rolls opens up and we have these developments on each side of the road. Uh, to the left, we have Ryan Homes. And then here to the right, we have Dior Horton, Summerlee. And DR, the, the crazy thing about the Dior Horton, Summerlee and this community, I don't know if you can see, some of the roofs have the modern roofs. Uh, they said they brought that down from Texas, a collection that they had in Texas with the modern slanted roofs. So that's pretty cool. And uh, somewhere on this road, I, I heard Madame will also be building um, they haven't started breaking ground yet for that. Uh, so, but there is this section here as well to our right that is being developed for housing. There's just not a sign just yet. And as we continue on, there's one more community here on Jones Road that is actually building uh, new homes as well. So I'm gonna show you that coming up right now. And as we come to our last community here, this is Sunbrook by Ashton Woods. And I'm gonna make the U-turn here. But uh, there's some videos of the model homes here up top. So you can take a look at what they build. And I have shot this community before. There's also Starlight Homes, which is an affiliate of Ashton Woods. And so it's basically Ashton Woods and their affiliate in this community. So now I will see you guys back on Narcusi so we can take the rest of the tour. All right, guys, so here we are back on Narcusi. 
and then heading south again right off of Jones Road. So guys, this is East Lake Reserve here. It's a gated community. It's an older community. Right here to the left, we have a farm, a Rancho Costo. Uh, these are private lands out this way. So these are some of the people that have been living here before all the development started happening. Chisholm Park is out to the right. All right, guys, so we are coming up to the intersection of Narcusi Road and Rummel Road. And if you can see on the left, we're gonna have a Dunkin' Donuts. On the right, we have some shops. We're gonna have a Dunkin' Donuts on the left, a mobile gas station. On the right, we have, you know, insurance, uh, Allstate insurance some a ballet studio we you know barbershop uh also on the other side of rummel once we pass we're gonna have a dollar general there are some if you take rummel road down to the right you'll end up in lakefront so if you see my um Marcusi community review video that's that i have a little section there about lakefront and what the amenities are in that area it's right on the uh, shore of Lake Toho, and there's restaurants and, you know, um, walking area and parks for the kids. Very nice area of town. And as we proceed, as I said, the Dollar General here on the left, and then to the right, you'll see these bush hedges here. That is Turtle Creek. So that's a pretty large community that was established by a couple builders, D.R. Horton, um, you know, Dream Finders and uh, such, and Lennar. And they uh, built houses in this community, so there's plenty of homes there uh, on the resale market. Yeah, so this is the entrance here to Turtle Creek. Very nice. And then after Turtle Creek, we're gonna hit a couple of older communities as well. Uh, Turtle Creek has been around, I think about four or five years. Uh, this is the preserve part at Turtle Creek, Creek here. That's the entrance to the preserve there. And then directly behind Turtle Creek, you have two communities on the left and right. One is Terra Vista, which is right here. And we have another community to the left. And this community is Ashton Park, right here to the left. And then we have Temp Street right here. As we get to the left side of the road, we have a Publix, eateries on both the left and the right, a Winn-Dixie on the right, Verizon on the right, Taco Bell, got a couple banks. And this intersection here is 192 and Narcusi. So that'll be Earl Bronson on Narcusi. We're gonna make this left on 192 because the other side of the road is Old Hickory Road, right? Here's your 7-Eleven. And the reason why I'm gonna include this in the video is because right off of 192, very close by about a one minute drive from 192, we have Live Oak Lake by Pulte. And that is a great community. We also have coming soon, a brand new DR Horton community called Toxin Grove. And that's right here to the right. They're just breaking land now. And I'm gonna pull into Live Oak Lake and then we're gonna end the video because that's pretty much the end of Narcusi Road because the other side of 192 
and Narcusi is old hickory tree. So here we go, pulling into Live Oak Lake. Okay, here we are, pulling into Live Oak Lake. And this is the entrances to Live Oak. And if I can, I'm gonna place at least one of the uh, houses or the model homes here. Um, I just recently did one called the White Stone, so that should be right here. And you can take a look at what kind of features these homes bring. This is fairly new. Uh, this community is less than a year old. Um, pretty good build out so far. The amenity center just went up. And we're gonna just make a spin on the roundabout here. And as you can see the model home center there. And then you have your amenity center here. Very nice community. All right, guys, well, that is our video. That is the tour of what is here on Narcusi Road, heading south into St. Cloud, and the zip of 34771 of St. Cloud. Uh, if you have any questions, always feel free to give me a call at 407-790-0929. As always, this is Anthony Tahada, your Orlando realtor, always shattering your expectations. Give me that outro.